everyone welcome back to the makeup chair today's video is a little bit of a strange concept we're going to do painting by numbers i'm basically going to show you guys how to create different combinations using one palette i'm also going to talk you through the best brushes to use depending on the type of eyeshadow that you're applying and also a little bit on blush and lipsticks to choose depending on the look that you're doing so let's get started this is a palette that I've chosen. It's by Urban Decay. It's, this one is called Bailout. It's the purple one. They also have a green one. And this one is called Detour. Well, the purple one I feel is just so perfect for beginners. The first thing that I did when I looked at this palette is I basically divided it into three sections. We have the top section, which has all of our neutrals. Then we have a side with purple and we have a side with bronze. So the top layer has all of our neutrals, all of our everydays. And then the bottom layer has all of our bonus shades. And you can combine these eyeshadows in so many different ways. Such a perfect palette. To create any eye makeup look, what do we always say? We need at least three shades, a light, a medium, and a dark. But this palette also has a fade shade, as I like to call it. So this palette basically has everything that we need. So the first combination that we're gonna do is a basic eye makeup look. We're gonna apply shade number one all over the lid. So apply this mostly on the inner corner and then sweep it across the lid. We're then gonna take shade number four and apply this on the outer half of the eye. So this is our contour shade. Keep it to the outer third and then very softly sweep it to about the halfway point. Then we're gonna take shade number three and apply this in the crease. So working deep in the crease and then blending and fading upwards towards the brow bone. Then we can take shade number two, which is our fade shade. And we're gonna use this to add a little bit of fade to everything that we've already applied. So you can apply this on the very edge of your transition shade in the crease. You can then use it on the center of the lid as well. So this allows our light and our dark to blur together. So that's how you create a basic look using the top line, but let's start adding in some of the other shades. So starting off with the purples and leaving the bronze for a second, we're gonna start by applying shade number one all over the lid. We're then gonna take shade number two and three and apply this in the crease the same way as we did with our basic look. Shade number four is gonna apply it on the outer edge of the eye, but then we're gonna layer purple over the top. And by layering shade number eight over four, we're gonna ground that purple so it's a little bit more wearable. However, you can just apply it by itself if that's what you prefer. We're then gonna take shade number seven and we're gonna apply this on the rest of the lid. So take a little bit on your fingertips even and just tap this over the lid, but mostly concentrate on the inner corner and then sweep it to meet the purple. Then take a little bit extra of shade number seven on a damp brush this time and apply it on that inner corner to really help it shine. Underneath the brow, however, use shade number one. Don't use shade number seven because shade number seven and has a little bit too much of a purpley shine and it can throw off the balance of the look. Now for the other two shades, let's create something different. Let's do a smoky eye. So what we're gonna start off with is shade number two and three in the crease. Then you're gonna take shade number four and apply this all over the lid. So from the lash line upwards until it meets shade number three. Then over the top of shade number four, take shade number six, so our bronzy tone, and apply this all over the lid again, working from the lash line up. Apply shade number five on that inner corner or even in the center of the lid anywhere really where you wanna add a little bit of a lighter tone. And then finish off with shade number one, just underneath the brows. A little bonus tip is to add in a little bit of your blush. So this is a great way to bring the entire look together. So you can apply a little bit of this in the crease to work with your transition shade and your fade shade and your mid-tone. And then you can apply it onto your cheeks and then finish off with a lipstick that matches the blush. And that's a great way to bring the entire look together. However, if you want, you could also use a red because reds and purples look amazing together. So you don't necessarily always have to go for neutrals because a true red will go with a true purple. And this will go with any of the other colors as well. However, with your blush, I would add in a little bit of bronzer. This will just make sure that your lipstick isn't competing with the blush. So just add in a little bit of bronzer just to sheer it off a little bit. But if you wanna play it safe, you can always just go for neutral. So now that we know what we're applying and where we're applying it, we need to know what we're applying it with. So first of all, let's start off with a flat brush. So a flat brush is basically there for really packing on some pigment. It also gives you a lot of control. So if I'm applying, say my highlighter, shade number one underneath my brow, I need a flat brush, something kind of small. But it's also really important for whenever you're applying shimmers because shimmers need something that you can glide with and that's what a flat brush does. Now for our mid-tones and our crease shades, we always use a blending brush because we want it soft, smooth, blended. However, I like to use two different types of blending brushes. So I apply with one and then I blend with the other. That way I get like a really clean blend. For my darker shades, I always use a small brush. So I can use a flat brush if I wanted or I can use this brush. This brush is one of my favorites. It's nice and small, so I have a lot of control, and it really softly blends as I'm applying, which is what I want when I'm applying dark eyeshadows. So there you go, that is basically painting by numbers. Let me know in the comment section if there's any combinations that you would do from one to eight to where you would actually apply them. I'd love to hear about them, and I might even create one. So I'll see you guys in the next one, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this. What's that? It's a camera. Yeah. Are you gonna help me film?
You inhale. 